All right, today we're going to cover chapter 10. So this is the first chapter in the second third of the class. So we're going to have a pretty big departure from the type of material that we are studying. So the first third of the chapter, the first third of the class was actually on genetic analysis. So understanding genotype and phenotype relationships, understanding how these determine inheritance and future generations. And then the genetic analysis comes from you know, how you can use, use, use analysis of ratios in order to predict uh, the number of genes that regulate a trait and the number of alleles that regulate a trait. So now we're going to get into the chemical details. Uh, so DNA is actually what encodes a gene. DNA is what encodes an allele. Uh, so we assume that from chapter two talking about chromosomes, uh, but now we're going to get into the details of, of, of that. So the goals of this chapter are to distinguish between all the different parts of a nucleotide. So a nucleotide is a single subunit um, of DNA. So understanding the chemistry in really good detail. Understand the basic chemistry of DNA RNA and how it explains most of its structure and action. So what is the subunit of DNA and how does it polymerize into single-stranded DNA? Um, how does it become a double-stranded molecule? What holds it together? understand the 3D forms of DNA and how they arise, and then what are the key differences between RNA and DNA, so both the biological and chemical differences between them. And then finally, we're going to start to get into the basic of nucleic acid technologies. So these are techniques used to quantify how much DNA is in a sample. Uh, these are used to separate DNA by its size. So if you have a, a sample of a large number of pieces of DNA, you can use gel electrophoresis to separate them. And then finally, FISH, which is a technique to actually visualize within a cell where a particular piece of DNA might be found. So these are some of the terms that you're gonna to need to memorize throughout this chapter, so we won't get into these yet, but uh, make sure you come back to the slide after the lecture and you know, test yourself just to make sure you understand all of these terms. I guarantee you these will be on both quizzes um, and exams to make sure you understand these. So the five parts of this chapter. Um, first, how do we know DNA is the heritability material? How do we know that a D, a DNA encodes a gene, encodes an allele? Understand the basic chemistry of a nucleotide in great detail. Um, double-stranded DNA, how do these nucleotides polymerize and come together and to form double-stranded DNA? Part four will be on RNA and its uses in the cell, and then part five will be on nucleic acid technologies.